This country and ball is a singing, singing when the sun goes down. He had all the answers about the way things ought to be. Some folks came to listen, some folks couldn't see that there's pain in his fingers, pain in his heart. He played all the Holy crap, boy! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you doing there, bud? I'm doing good, Carl. Thank you very much for having me back on. And I'm sorry, I'm James. Nice, Donna. Donna nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. That's uh, yeah, crazy, that's, that's buddy. Nick. We all know who Nick yeah. is. <laughs> this guy's at almost every single show that we ever have. Yes, and obviously, are. if Van's out there, don't. Played all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap, boy! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how you doing there, bud? I'm doing good, Carl. Thank you very much for having me back on. And I'm sorry, I'm James. Nice. Donna, Donna nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. That's uh, yeah, crazy, that's, that's buddy. Nick. We all know who Nick yeah. is. <laughs> this guy's at almost every single show that we ever have. Yes, and obviously, are. if Van's out there don't know who I am, I am James the Commish Mitchell. I am the commissioner of East Coast Professional Wrestling, Hudson Valley. Ah. Okay, yeah. all right. We, well, it's so we cold that we got the fire going here. Yeah, yeah. it's a little chilly. Up. Yep, yep, yep. And our, and our a lot sponsor of just stopped by. Yes, he did. And brought me some hot dogs. Now, if you just want one, you can no, have one. No, no. I, I, diet. I was there yeah, already I, I tonight. Already. My God, that, that really Texas is. Wieners, and I go there for clam chowder almost every day. Oh, yeah. Plus right. the other stuff he's at it. Oh, right. God. Oh, my gosh. Well... You know, I took mm. I took a photo of my dinner last week that I had there. I don't know if, if it will be large enough for them to see. Probably not. Probably not. Well, no. Yeah. I know. I know. I, I would really have to have somebody zoom in. You know what? I think that looks. I don't as think big we have as... a zoomer here tonight. I, that I mean, almost looks as big as Colossus's stomach. Oh my God, that is huge! It's, it's, there. It was amazing. It was actually. I, I was. You guys keep talking for a minute. <laughs> three days later, I was still. This this is an eggplant parmesan platter, and un, mm. unfortunately, uh, we can't zoom in on it. Coda. Well, we could. Yeah, where is he? Uh, and maybe we'll get him to come over later and zoom in. But can you zoom in on this? Whatever one it works. <laughs> see if we can, see if we can show the audience. See yeah, bring can, it in close. Yeah, right in on that. Uh, there you go. Uh, there see, go. there you go. That. That's an eggplant eggplant parm no, platter. I yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, say that there five times guys, fast. Man. There you go. <laughs> Eggplant parm platter. Where's that? Where, where can you get that? Roy's Roy's Corner, Corner at Homer's. Yeah, I know. I'm tongue tied tonight, huh? I didn't <laughs> have enough coffee. Is that amazing? That I should have been. That's the I'll, problem. I'll say, I'll say this much: that Roy, my God, he is a, he is a god with the way he makes that food. I mean, oh yeah, God, those hot dogs. I've been telling all you guys when you come down to practice yeah. here. Or whatever yeah. you're doing, go on over and see him. Yeah. I, I think that's the thing we're going to do now. You know, when we're done filming our episodes that air every Saturday, right at, right after your show, right at 9 o'clock, or for other people at 8.30 in the other parts of the Hudson Valley area. Right. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go right over to Royce. I mean, you're not going to get a serving like that anywhere else and for the price it's just there you, you go know, Benji amazing. sorry <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah. that's right those prices are very reasonable oh my god very economic you know yes. I, I thought I was the only one that was out there giving economical prices to families my lord that is that, that is, is that is now you yeah. might be hooked up with a, some of the stock car drivers and stuff with the wrestling yeah we're, wow we're getting big. We're, we're, that's great we're ever expanding I mean we're doing a lot with this wrestling. I mean, we said that this year was going to be our year, and by golly, we're not even kidding. We're on fire this year. I wow. Said this fire right here. Yeah. But, yeah that's true. <laughs> that's, that's, that's for him. Nick that's needs great. He gets the chills easy. <laughs> Thanks. Bro. When he goes out yeah. with a date, he needs a heater going. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks, girl. Puts it on in the car, and he goes like that. Yeah. Let's watch the movie. He gets yeah. the fire going early, yeah. right? Get there you go. Out. I'll tell you what, Nick's not going to need any fire April 15th. April 15th is going to be enough fire throughout that entire fire and all hall, man. As, wow. Tell us what, what it is, though. It's All going right. to be special. Okay, right. so, so fans, get ready for this. Okay, 
So April 15th, the day before Easter, we're gonna be back in Ellenville. First time this year. First time this year is gonna be a first time for a lot of things. See, 73 Center Street's been a home to us for the last four years, doing a lot of wrestling shows. Okay. All right, we always do our bell time, 7.30, it's always been the same, $12 in advance for a ticket, 15 right there at the door. At the door. But the only thing that's changing this time is two epic matches. Oh. For the wow. first time ever here in the Hudson Valley, we will be having the aggression title be defended in the confines of a steel cage. Oh, there you go. wow. wow. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. Like wow. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> See, fans. I'm an if animal. you watch our show, you know that my <laughs> knee got kind of banged up when the mix threw me off the commentary table there. Oh. And, you know, it's healing up real nice, but what's healing even nicer is the cold revenge of putting the champion <laughs> Migs against the patient. Oh, oh. brother. Steel cage match. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, yeah. And I'm oh, telling you, wow. bring, bring your whole family. The kids go yeah. crazy. It's, oh, it's something they, you got to see. I bet they must, yeah. <laughs> What's even better is we have gone ahead and come up with something even more diabolical. Something absolutely amazing. Something that fans are really going to love. See, I love inventing <laughs> new matches. Uh huh. For the first time ever, a triple stage assault match will be for the contract in the case. Now, in this case, it's a contract for the winning competitor. To cash in, they get an aggression title match anytime, anywhere. Mm. Now, the triple stage assault is very nice. See, we have six guys competing. Okay. First is going to be an elimination style match. Okay. All right. It's going to be an over top, mm -hmm. over top rope. So, six guys in there, and the right. first two guys to be thrown out are eliminated and done. And then we're going to turn it into a four on four there. Four guys right, left. Right. Hardcore match. Wow. Pin or submission. Those two guys are left out and two left is by your choice. Oh. By your choice. We can have a tables match, ladders match. Don't know. Oh. You're going to have to follow oh, us these on matches. Facebook. Wow. This is going to be great. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to so be So you got to follow us on Facebook. And We're going to put a, put a nice wow. little thing on Facebook. Wow. And, and you fans choose what match we're going to do. Wow. And these guys, just like Royce, right. help toys for kids. I know they do. Yeah. Yes. And yep. then, yeah. I, I felt so good because they did help. And me and my wife started that a while ago, seven mm -hmm. or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And they stepped right up and helped out. They was at the last one over here in Greenville. Mm -hmm. And uh, Roy's jumped on it and helped out too. So yeah, that was there's great. people out there believing in the communities and that's the way I really like that. Him mm -hmm. and my church was very helpful too. And, uh, and I know you're watching, Dave. Uh, hey, Dave. For the, hey, Dave. Uh, uh, Toys for Kids, I want to thank you These kids want. Now don't get all upset. I'm gonna tell you your girlfriend. A big help for these kids, my friends. That's uh, it. Thank you. Aww. That's what we need. We That's need everybody. Right, we do. And, and and I've been pushing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. The wrestling because it's for the kids. Mm -hmm. The toys for kids. It's for the kids. Yes. And the yeah. food bank we do over here mm -hmm. is is for the families that need right. it. That's right. And, and oh, yeah. I was raised that way, me and my wife, and we'll be putting together all kinds of stuff to help with the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, and that's what we like to do, too. So if you guys ever are out there wanting to figure out a nice fundraiser to do, go ahead and contact us at ecpwhv at gmail.com, and we can go ahead and start a fundraiser for you. We go yeah. ahead and do a great wrestling show. We do tons of things. We bring in tons of fans. We have lots of followers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we get close to almost 1,500 people at our shows sometimes. We, wow. Sometimes we've got to turn people away wow. from the door because we're 
at capacity. At capacity, wow. And we get people from the city. We get people from Connecticut, Jersey, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. Wow. They all come right here to the home uh -huh. of the Hudson Valley Professional Wrestling, ECPWHV. Wow. We are proud to be the home of the Hudson Valley for wrestling. And me. we know that when we promise you guys a great show, we put it on. When we promise you guys you're going to have a great fundraiser, we make sure it is. We don't stab anybody in the back. We mm. make sure we deliver every time. Mm. That's right. Mm. That's great. Yeah. That's really. That's all well, bad. listen, That's I, fans. I got some news for you, too. Uh, on this one thing for my, if everybody can put songs in it. Uh, we charted number one on there out of 100 people. Our, my song is charted number one. Excellent. Wow. wow. And then I am number going to one. Nashville, so we're going to go to something right now. Uh, Southern Radio, who's become friends with me, wants me to come down and uh, perform at George Jones Museum. And we're going to have a big bash out in his uh, yard. That's going to be a and, uh, dynamite time. Everybody's welcome to come on down. With, and his name is Howie and the Sarge. And they, they're on every day. I say good morning to them every day. They're great people and they're country bound and they're good for the community. And I don't have my coffee with me. But uh, mm -hmm. we'll be sending them a copy of this. They're gonna, okay. We're going to play it right now. This is what they sent me, so I, I hope you enjoy it. It'll only take a few seconds, and we'll talk some more. All Great. right, excellent. Great. I can't wait to hear this. All right. Hey, everybody. Hollywood Howie and the Sarge from Southern Country Radio. We want to give a shout-out to Carl Richards Turn and the up. Outlaws. They're in New York. New York! Get a rope. <laughs> ah, but they're outlaws, so we can't get a rope. But uh, you know, it's funny they're outlaws because I'm allergic to going past the Mason Dixon. Uh oh. Yeah, I break up in handcuffs. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. I love getting those free silver bracelets, though. Yeah, but so, it tells me I'm a winner. But I don't like the trip that I go on whenever. Yeah, I'm... but see, you win a free stay in the local hotel. You got three hots and a cot. You get your, fit, you get your yeah. fingerprints and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. But up there in New York. Hey, we love you guys, Carl Richards. Check out Carl Richards and Outlaws on Facebook. And check out Southern Country Radio on TuneIn or Facebook. That's right. And you can also check out Carl Richards on YouTube. 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 All right. All right, Carl. We'll see you all real soon. Can't wait for you to get here to Nashville and barbecue on our front porch, and we'll rock it. Hell yeah. All right. Later, guys. Moonshine on. There you go. Right, oh, out, of, that's right great. out of Nashville. Wow, that's oh, wow. great. Very good. That was good. So somebody likes what I do. Yes. I think we all do. I mean, singing like absolutely. a bird. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, I remember that when you got up there on the mic singing at the uh, Toys for Kids for Christmas. You got a heck of a voice there, and I, I'm yeah, not surprised it. one bit. Right. They go ahead and put you as number one. Right. Right. Good, yeah. Girl. So that's that's and wonderful. And it's a gospel song. And the gospel song, they're going to be releasing the movie shortly, and we're going to sing that song before the movie starts for a thousand people. Mm. And uh, wow, it's in the movie already. So right. if it does something, then I'll make some money. <laughs> yeah. well, that's what makes us world go around. Right. It's always about the money. Oh but, boy! Hey, to me, well, obviously, it's, I don't it's care more about the happiness of everybody that's listening. Right. Right. So, well, he's getting to do what he loves to do, you know. So how much? Well, you know, I tell that's, everybody that's, that if you can do what you love your money. whole life, it's like, I mean, I was in drywall business. I was a foreman for a big company out of Chester. And we had eighty-five crews. I ran the whole thing. Mm -hmm. One day, I just said to the guy after ten years, "I'm gonna go play my guitar." He goes, "What?" I said, <laughs> "Yep, done." That's what my wife wants me to do. That's what I want to do. And he says, "I'm paying you twelve hundred a week. Are you crazy?" I says, no, I got to do what I feel. Wow. And, and that, that's the thing. I, I, I got to say a shout out. I love my wife. Thank you very much, Shannon, for letting me do what I do. Because she turned around and she saw me one day. I, it, why'd, she that, why'd she have that gun in her hand? Yeah. <laughs> well, the economy was down and out and jobs were very scarce. She turned around and said, James, why don't you just go and do what you love? I said, well, what I love is watching wrestling. She goes, well, why don't you be a wrestler again? And that's what I did. I went ahead and oh, picked wow. up everything. I got with East Coast Professional Wrestling. Mm -hmm. I got out there in front of all these amazing fans. <clears throat> I mean, I've become a, a local personality now. People mm -hmm. know me. I go to Walmart. I go to Hannaford's. I, I go right. anywhere. People know who they I know am. They know who you now. are. Wow. 
Yeah, you know, it's, it's a great feeling. I love it, especially right. when little kids get that smile when I'm out there in the right. rain getting the crowd going. Right. It's, it's all about those Well, I also things. got Gino's right. matches down in Manhattan. Oh, yeah, that's right. You, you got the, the bigger part of the company. I get around. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, we're, no we're going to... fans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to... I won't tell anybody about the white lightning. Listen. Uh, 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 uh. All right, we're going to go to a song now. This is for all you guys out there who loved your dads and you went fishing and hunting with them. And uh, I got a lot of people who really like this. I had people come from Jersey just to get this album at my house. And it's called I Remember. And I hope everybody can relate to it. And uh, take a look at it. I Remember. All right.
take us out to Manhattan and Brooklyn out there, baby. That was yeah. wonderful. And wow. someday we'll see Benzie again when he gets done running himself ragged. Yeah, well, yeah. that'll well, be a while. Well, kids come first, that's and right. I understand That's it. right. That, hey, it, that's all the part of being a dad. That's right. right. You know? That's right. And he might as well enjoy it because they grow up so fast. No, I don't before complain you too know much. It, right? I, I mean, I understand it. He's yeah. Got, yeah. The kids come first. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No. You know, this match is going to be. This is going to be really fun. I've been to a lot of them, and I try to make them all. I don't know about Benzie, but I try to make almost a lot of them. He says, I could have brought the Cub Scouts maybe next time. I said, well, that's not up to me. You do whatever you got to do. Mm -hmm. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. Every one of you fans out there, you always come and you tell us, hey, I came from KCS, and I'll tell you what, we'll knock off $2 off the price of the ticket. Just oh, because nice. Oh, hey, you know, that's great. That, that's right. something. I mean, I love hearing that the fans – Heard us from Carl Richards. I mean, Carl's mm -hmm. been helping us for a very long time, and I I appreciate it a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, Carl Carl's one of those guys that will lead the horse to the water, but he can't make him drink. That's <laughs> right. Well, I can That's hold right. her head under. That's yeah. And that's with, with Roy, him and his wife. Or fine people. They they know how to take care of the community. Yes, they do. Yeah. And he had yeah. breakfast for the kids. For, with Santa for free. Yeah. Oh. Nobody yeah. paid nothing. Yeah. They come in and yeah. Santa sat on Santa's lap and everything got free mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and he's gonna soon I think he's starting to think for the veterans with the, oh, the tin that's... trays that they used to use in the service. Oh nice. neat. If they come in on a Sunday, they, I don't know how it's all gonna work, but right. you get a tray and then oh. you get free breakfast on Roy and the uh, Wow. Something on the shingles, what they used to eat in the service. They right. called it all different things. Right, yeah. right. And oh, you get a free nice. breakfast and coffee. That's a great idea. Isn't That's that? a really wonderful idea. He's just going crazy because he's going to open the bakery next door and he's going to start making pizzas. Right. I says, oh, I don't know. He's got to oh, start imagine, making pizzas. Wow. I imagine seeing pizzas there. Wow. He's going to probably make like the good old city style pizza, like a. 34 inch pot. Oh my so, gosh. Oh, well, if it's anything like anything else anything he makes, forget him. it. It's you know, it's huge. like, yeah. And yeah, his wife's amazing. on the same page. He makes a cake. They're like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah. If you go there on the weekend, you can buy loaves of bread, all different kinds, homemade. All the bread and everything is made on the premises. premises. But you can go there and buy six bucks for a loaf of bread like that. It looks like the size of a football. Wow. Raisin, yeah, cinnamon, yeah, all yeah. different kinds. He, he seems to be very economically priced, especially he for this is, area. He is. He gives good portion food. Oh my gosh! I mean, I'm, I, uh, did that? I'm I mean, that economic. almost looked like a darn turkey. That's how much. I mean, it looked like a, you know, a twelve-pound <laughs> turkey, right? A family of four. Oh, absolutely. Well, I know. Yeah, I, got, I got fans out there going. You eat on every show? I says, yeah. I says, this, <laughs> hot dogs are great, man. I love hot dogs. This is American way. Hot dogs, baby. Yeah. And, and he does 20 or 30,000 hot dogs yeah. in a month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, how many hot dogs now does he have on his menu? It's 25. 24. 24, 25. Yeah. My yeah, wife had a half of them. She's trying the next half. Yeah. <laughs> pastrami hot dogs he's got everything you yeah. can think of yeah that, every that every one uh, the loaded dog that looks i had that good. the other night yeah, i had that the other dog. night yeah that that was that was a good dog and if you know my family and you're invited you and your wife to our family oh. picnic yep. it's in august 27th or 29th whatever that saturday is during a covered dish and everybody just eats all day and have music and we have horseshoes and uh, everybody just hangs around talking a little white a little light in there too <laughs> I told you not to bring that lightning up. It's only 190 proof. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we my That's one year right. my sons, all the younger guys and my sons and everybody wanted to go play touch football, which never ends up touch. And uh, mm -hmm. the one wow. broke his rib, the other one because when the younger guys get the older guys down, yeah. they stomp them. Uh, so the next yeah. day he goes, I don't know what happened to me, but I'm yeah. sore all. <laughs> I said you. Try to, and then my buddy who I grew up with, we're, he's, we're still alive. We grew up together. And like still three years old, still we're, still, we're right. still kicking it. Right. And right. Uh, right. I says to him, let's go out and show him. He goes, Carl, sit down. Was that Ed? <laughs> yeah, Ed. Ed. 
<laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, we've done a lot of stuff together. That's a story yeah. in itself. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, so tough. you knew. I said we go ahead and get them in the ring then. I'm, I can oh, use a no. More guys on yeah, the it, it's <laughs> past I that. Told, I told Rick, oh, and I yeah. said, if I was 20, I'd kick your butt. He goes, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew, you knew Ed? From when you were three? No, not at that end. Oh, Ed. not that end. No, different Ed. Eddie Blake. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. We got away with a lot of stuff. He was the wow. head state trooper in Newfoundland. Oh, jeez. And my dad was on the guards for years and retired from the guards. But he was on. They had Babe Ruth come to my house. My my sister can tell you this story because I was only a little. Wow. And uh, my dad made him venison steaks and everything. Really? Oh, nice. Wow. And I said, boy, they had, had wow. cameras back then. Oh, my See, gosh. Like I, like I said, you, folks, wow. look forward to having an autobiography from this man. Yeah. My, yeah. my yeah. sister yeah. told my sister really told does. her class, because I told you about my uncle being pretty well known, and uh, she says, uh, yeah, he played with Roy Rogers and Tex Ritter and them, all the all the rodeos and stuff, and, you know, and mm -hmm. the kids are all laughing at her. Yeah, so... Uh, Gene Autry invited all the class to one of the arenas down wow. there at Madison Square Garden. No. And they were all there, and Roy Rogers was there, and Roy Rogers says to her, come on, little girl, I want to put you on my horse. Wow. And walked her around. The oh. kid's mouth was like, oh, oh man. man. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that was... Roy, right. That's, that's He got 3000 a minute for being on Ed Sullivan, doing a comedian act when he wasn't playing with them guys. Wow. And, uh, it's a long, that's another story. Yeah. So, no, you really should write a book. My grandmother had a pistol in her side and had snake skins hanging on a clothesline because she used to make belts out of them. Wow. It's a wild wow. month. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, where did you what? Where did you grow up? In a tent. No, no. no. In Newfoundland? Newfoundland. It was, no kidding, really. I thought we were still waiting for him to grow up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's when it's over and they slammed the lid. <laughs> Lois might agree with that one. <laughs> Most people don't know me is when I'm sitting here, but when I'm playing, I'm somebody else. And the energy level goes through the roof. You know, so... Just so you then, bottle it up and you save it all, all well, up till you get really out there, Well, when I got really drunk right? in his bus, that was another story there. Yeah. He said, he yeah. says, you want to smoke? And I said, I'm not into drugs like that. I said, but I'll have a shot of whiskey. Right. Just to say I would have one with you. Yeah. And he says, well, we got a brand new court here. He wow. Says, but I ain't got no shot glasses. And I said, well, us northern boys drink it straight out of the bottle. <laughs> Five of us drank the whole court. He was staggering around in the smoke and stuff. And I said, uh, what's up? He goes, you got a holler like boy. I, I says, thanks. They don't drink whiskey. Them. They're no. the smoother products. Yeah. He went out and did a show. I knew he was buzzed. Wow. Wow. I got the whole crew at the Willie Nelson concert. See, you get riders. Even anybody that's in the concert gets riders. You can order whatever you want. I had a whole case of Old Granddad 107, mm -hmm. and then I had uh, 27 cases of uh, uh, wine and stuff, the mm -hmm. coolers mm -hmm. for all the women in the band, yeah. oh and we God. had 16 cases of beer. Oh, jeez. Well, at the end, wow. all the workers and stuff go in this big tent and have a big pizza party with like 200 people. Right. So I asked them, you want to have a shot with me? We'll pass the bottle around. Well, I had 10 bottles. <laughs> so the boss comes in and they go, we don't want to drink. The boss ain't going to drink. So I says to the boss, you want to have a drink with me? Right in front of everybody. Yeah, I'll have a swig with you. Well, then the door is open now. I yeah. says, well, how about they have one? He didn't realize how much I had. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, okay. the sound level went like that. Nobody went back to work. He goes, God, Carl, you killed everybody in the tent. <laughs> yeah, it's uh... interesting. All right, so what else do we All right, have we got something here? Hang on, my glasses on so you can read see. it. We got Let's some stuff now. here. I can't see it either. Oh, we got a great country All band right, coming so, on now. Uh, Farmer Phil. Farmer Phil from New Jersey. There we go. And he's going to be playing my stuff on his radio show, and he has a great country band. And we're going to go to him right now. He's from down in the Newfoundland area, too. All Farmer right, Phil Farmer band. Farmer Phil oh. Band. Lord, I'm traveling with this morning. I'm gonna sweep boy down to New Orleans. Baby, 
been making me lonesome, ornery and me. Now her hair was jet black, and her name was Codeine. Thought she was a queen of bathing street queen. Begin to feel lonesome All in me Take it on that steel guitar, come on Our sweets gave on to bad girls to watch them run through the streets. There's no escaping from a snowy white dream. Born to be lonesome, on with me. Now I'm down in this valley. so low and on I pray to the Lord of my soul I say good Lord you ride by me you know I'm tired of being lonesome all in me come on Richie take it on that guitar one time Jesse James ending up on the brink of danger. Riding shotgun for the Texas Range. The West young man, haven't you been told? California's full of whiskey. The women and gold sleeping out all night beneath the 
desert stars Dreaming my in a prayer My heart I should have been a cowboy I should have learned a road Like Gene and Roy singing those campfire songs. Oh, I should have been a cowboy. Oh, yeah. I should have been a cowboy. I should have learned a road. Six shooter riding my pony on a cattle drive, stealing the young girl's hearts, just like Gene and Roy, singing those campfire songs. Oh, I should have been a cowboy. Yeah, I should have been a cowboy. I should have been a cowboy. Duct tape.
glistening out of the beams of a neon moon. Oh, watch this broken dream dance in and out of the beams of a neon moon. Thank you very much. Do one more, a little John Anderson. My daddy was a brake man on a highball traveling train. And mama, she raised four little children and the family had a good name. And mama wanted all for us they never had Big brother, little brother, sister too But he didn't turn out half bad Except me I'm the black sheep of the family Big brother went to college and became a doctor man I guess he makes about a million dollars a year off the folks' home insurance plans. He's got a big, long Mercedes Benz, a house looking over the town. He sits in his jacuzzi and he watches the song go down. And he feels real sorry for me. I'm the black sheep of the family. in my truck. I make a payment on a two-room shack. My wife, she waits on tables and at night she rolls my back. I remember what my papa said to my mama when they got off the highball train. I wake me up early, be good to my dogs and teach my children to pray. the Sussex Fair Fairgrounds okay. for uh, Marshall Tucker Band and uh, um, Charlie Daniels. Wow. And uh, they've been there every year. They've been doing it's rocks, ridges, mm. and something. I don't know. And uh, Wow. He wow. does a great job. He loves it. He's, you know, he's another local country boy. Yeah, I saw Marshall Tucker Band a long time ago. 
Yeah, you know what? Half of them are dead, and they get like the lead singer still wants to play. Right. That's what a lot of them groups are anymore. And I'm I'm getting somebody's buying me tickets to go up and see Hank Williams Jr. with Leonard Skinner. Oh, at Bethel Woods. At Bethel oh, Woods. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Somebody was I telling will me. Be yeah. There. So. Yeah. My yeah. my uh, uncle actually was with Fred Rose, and they arranged Hank Williams Sr.'s music. So that's how there's a tie in that too. So. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll get backstage. I don't know, but uh, I, I never worry about it. You know, I'm just. Well, that would be nice. I, when I, I was mean, there at the Willie concert, I told Benzie, "Let's go down and meet him." He goes, "Oh, I gotta get going." I says, "Come on, I know him. He knows me." I right. He right. didn't want to go, so we left. Oh man. Who doesn't want to go meet Willie Nelson? Really? I don't want to meet Benzie. him. Benzie. <laughs> I've been in his bus several times, and he well. treated me really good. He knew my uncle, too, which made me proud. Wow. Because he knew his nickname, and I didn't tell him. Oh, really? Oh, wow. You know, so. That, that, that shows you he's got a good memory, then, for all mm, the people he's Yeah. Met. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's true. Well, wow. my uncle's in uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. He's wow. And he's still in there. Nobody's done this. He plays a banjo. Wow. <clears throat> Two songs at one time. Now I've heard guitar guys and stuff. He plays one with a pick down here, and the other with a pick in his mouth. Two separate songs, thoroughly. Whoa! I was like, now that wow! Is and it's wow. in. If you get into Ripley's, you gotta look for a banjo player, Ooh. world's most unique banjo player. And I'm like, oh, he used to play with the heel, was boot and everything. Wow! Wow! Yeah, I've That's been to amazing. The Museum down there in Myrtle Beach. You gotta. So you know nice. what? Some night. You gotta get some of his songs and play them. Well, I'll be going YouTube. Audience, you if know? you go on my website, you can go on there and see uh, on my on family traditions. You go on there and there's a guy sitting there with a banjo, and then Tex Ritter and all them are in the old cowboy suits and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's one for all you Yankee fans out there. Oh yeah, right uh, <laughs> here, baby. Um, now I can't think of his name. You threw me off track. <laughs> you know, you know the guy who uh, had uh, Lou. Ge oh, Lou Gehrig. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Lou Gehrig made a western and sang in it, and my uncle was in the band backing him. Wow. In the movie. Wow. Oh my gosh. So we we got to do something. You know, like we'll have a night. You know, where it's like you know maybe Roy Rogers night or something, and you get all you know those. Songs well, the very first movie you know? Roy Rogers made was Jesse James at Bay. Okay. And the theme song my uncle wrote. Wow. And you when uh, Riley, Riley Post and Will Rogers got killed in the airplane, uh, my uncle was on uh, Decca Records. He mm -hmm. sang two songs, one about each one of them, through uh, Rose Publishing. Oh, wow. And I didn't even know he could sing. <laughs> and then some guy seen it and sent me copies of it. It's like, holy God! Wow, wow! I'd love it, it to. It was just so have... he was talented. That's all. It was uh, obviously, out of this world. obviously, wow. You know the apple doesn't fall too far from the yeah, tree. Yeah, I came no, down like right, a big purge. Right, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> but, so, do we have anything else that's coming up here that I we have know. to look announce? List. Let's take a look. Check it. All Why right. Is Santa's going to come All back right. as, as Robin Hood or something soon. Is there another former Phil coming up? or? I don't know. Whatever. I guess no, he's going to take the show so. out. I think, yeah, I think we're ready. Is Farmer yeah. Phil taking the show out? Okay. All right, boss. Like sure. Boss man. All, All right. right. Anytime right. you're we're ready. ready. Former Phil band, great guys, and make sure you catch this match. This is gonna be great, hey, man. Dude, don't miss it. Follow us on Facebook, ECPW Hudson Valley, or our new website, ECPWHV Number One dot com. All right. All right, baby. I was thumbing from Montgomery, had my guitar on my back, when a stranger stopped beside me in an antique Cadillac. He was dressed like 1950, half drunk and hollow-eyed, 
Said it's a long walk to Nashville, would you like a ride, son? Well, I sat down in the front seat, I turned on the radio, and them sad old songs playing out of them speakers was solid country gold. When I noticed the stranger was ghost white, pale as he asked me for a light, and I knew there was something strange about this ride. He said, Mr. Can you make folks buy when you're playing sing? Have you paid your dues? Can you mow on the blues? Can you bend their guitar strings? He said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? Cause if you're a big star bound, let me warn you, it's a long, hard ride. Well, he cried just south of Nashville And he turned that car around He said, this is where you get off, boy Cause I'm going back to Alabama As I climbed out of that Cadillac I said, mister, many thanks Said, you don't have to call me mister, mister The whole world calls me Hank He said, mister, can you make folks cry when you're playing sing? Have you paid your dues? Can you moan the blues? Can you bend the guitar strings? I said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? Cause if you're a big star bound the morning, yeah, it's a long, hard ride. He said, mister, can you make folks cry when you're playing sing? Have you paid your dues? Can you moan the blues? Can you bend the guitar strings? He said, boy, can you make folks feel what you feel inside? Cause if you're big star bound, let me warn you, it's a long, hard ride. If you lift your big star bound, let me warn you, it's a long, hard ride. Well, it was all I could do to keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so useless to remain. And you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even called me by my name. You don't have to call me Waylon Jennings. Hello, hello. And you don't have to call me Charlie Pride. And you don't have. Call me Merle Haggard anymore Even though you're on my fine side So I'll hang around as long as you will let me And I never minded standing in a rain mentioned a few times in my phone book hello, hello. Hello. and I seen your name on signs where I have played but the only time I know I hear David Allen call 
It's when Jesus judged me on my judgment day. A man named Carl Richards wrote that song. He said it was the perfect country and western song. But I told him, Carl, you don't know much about country music. <laughs> You're a TV star from Port Jervis, New York. I said, write a couple words down. He wrote a lot of songs, Carl. One of them sounded a little bit like Alice Cooper I was listening to before. So he wrote another verse of the song sounding something like this. Well, he was drunk on a bus with Willie Nelson. So Willie didn't want to open his dime bag in the rain. So they popped open a big old bottle of Jack Daniels to see. The only one left standing was Carl Richards, and he wrote this song for me. Country and ball, here's a singing, singing when the sun goes. 